Welcome to Cartoon Animator 5. With it, you will be able to control characters easily moving bones or using motion clips. And in this tutorial, I want to show you the interface. The first time you open Cartoon Animator, you will see something like this. Now, for my personal taste, I like the interface to be darker because it's easier for the eyes. If you want that, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and then click interface and then you can select the dark color. If you prefer light, don't follow this step. I just happen to prefer the dark theme. So I'm gonna press okay. And then it says the changes will take place after you restart the application. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I restarted and now we have the dark theme. What you see right here in the middle is the workspace. This is where most of your animation will be taking place. You will have the backgrounds, the characters, everything. And then on the side, we have the side toolbar. In it is where you can add characters, you can adjust some things. And if you hover over that tool, you will be able to see a little tutorial explaining the tool further. And then on the top, we have the top toolbar. In it, we have the new document, open, save, there's the render, and there's undo and redo, etc., etc. And then we have the manager. In here, we have the content and also the scene. So if I have a character in here and props and all my elements, when I go to scene, I will see a list of everything in there. And then finally, we have this at the bottom, which is the timeline. It's hidden right now. We only see the play controls. But if you click this icon right here, it shows the timeline. Now, right now, we have something empty. So let's go ahead and import a project, a demo project, so you can see how everything looks populated. For that, I'm going to hide the timeline, then go to pack, and then in there, I'm going to click on free resources. Right now, I don't have access to this because they are not downloaded yet. That's why they are in black and white and they have this little cloud. So I can do this. I select the first one, then I press shift, scroll down, and then select the last one, and that selected all of them. Then I right click and click on install content. Just wait a couple of minutes until this downloads. I'm playing this in fast forward so you don't have to wait. And there, now we have downloaded. And I can open this, the demo project, I double click. And then I'm gonna scroll down and click and drag on this one. You can test any of those. I'm just gonna use the spring demo, click and drag, and there you go. Now we have a busy timeline. I'm going to open it just to show you. You can see that right now it doesn't show anything. But when I click on one object like this one, for example, I can see that if I click on motion, whoa, look at that. That's all the animation. What's going on with this? I'm going to put the timeline in here by clicking here and then playing a little bit. And then, ooh, there's bubbles, there's fish. Interesting. Oh, there's an octopus in there. I'm going to pause this. And then what's happening with this octopus? I'm selecting it. And oh my God, look at all that movement. Wow. So this is just for you to spike your curiosity. This is something incredibly advanced. Of course, you don't start here, but this is just so you can see how busy this will look like. And when I go to scene, I can see a list of everything that I have in here. You can see that I have a seal, seaweed, octopus, there's two octopus, then the school of fish, bubble, there's all these elements, and then the ocean. You can also hide some of them to see, okay, look at how the scene looks without it and with it. Oh, here's the other octopus. Look at that. And the cool thing is that you can explore multiple demo projects that help you inspire. Hopefully you will be as inspired as I was. I, this feels like a new toy and all of these are things that you can play with. So that's it for this welcome video. I hope you create amazing animation. And if you want, there's another tutorial with me where I show you how to create your very first animation in the next couple of minutes so you can start running in Cartoon Animator 5, right? And get you that first win. If you're interested, check out the next tutorial.